road trip, bitches. new. I just quickly got ready, did my makeup and everything. I didn't do like crazy makeup because I'm getting my hair washed. I'm gonna go get my first ever blowout. I'm so excited. The first thing on the agenda for me this morning was to get a blowout. For those who don't know what a blowout is, it's pretty much where you get your hair washed and then they blow dry it and they style it into whatever style you want. I actually booked this appointment like a week before I got here, I thought all would be well. I was excited about it. And then this morning I woke up to a torrential downpour, which is something that I definitely was not accounting for. Yeah. my thoughts on the blowout. The appointment that I booked was actually for a blowout and a 10 minute scalp massage. Overall, it was a good experience. I definitely would try again and get another one probably on a day that wasn't raining. But I have to say, the 10 minute scalp massage that I paid for ended up only being like a three or four minute scalp massage. That was kind of disappointing because I think that was really the part that I was most excited for. Actually, I think I was most excited to not have to wash my hair for maybe a few days, but the events of the day led to that not being an option. A blowout is all fun and games until you get one on a day that it just so happens to pour and then it completely falls out. My hair was curled. So yeah, the curls just fell out. I would say it was definitely a mix of both the rain and the humidity. I saw that it was going to be a high of like 70 or 75. I thought that was a pretty smooth temperature, but I quickly realized as soon as I stepped outside that it was actually very muggy and that was due to the humidity, which I did not take into account. So that was my mistake, my bad. I actually have really fun plans later. I am meeting up with Alexis. She is a girl that I actually met on a Best Buy call because she works for or an agency that handles brand deals. And I've actually worked with this agency a bunch with brand deals, so it's really cool that her and I connected because I was supposed to, I think I, I did talk about this in a vlog, I was actually supposed to be on the call with like eight other people who were doing the same campaign, but I couldn't because I had to present in the research showcase for my school. I had to have a one-on-one -on -one call with Alexis and I just really loved her energy and her vibe. And she said, you know, if you're ever in New York, like, let me know. And I was like, actually, I am planning a trip to New York. So long story short, I am meeting up with her later and I'm actually gonna get a tour of the office and then we're gonna get dinner together. I was reading last night this article that basically is a comprehensive guide to the subway. <laughs> so I think I figured out the easiest way for me to do it. I also started to learn how to read the New York subway map. I've never ridden the subway here by myself. Well, I've never been here completely by myself. I've never ridden the subway by myself here. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I did stop at Lululemon because I forgot my white sports bra at home. I actually only have one white sports bra as it is right now, so I was like, I could definitely use another one anyways. And I am beyond obsessed with Lululemon sports bras. I'm wearing one right now. I went into the store at Columbus Circle just to see if they had any white ones, and they did. I have another one that's this style, the high neckline situation, so it looks like this. It is so f hard to find sports bras in my size. They had other white ones, but none that were in my size. But I really like these, so I just picked this one up. And I also got a pair of no-show socks. I feel like you can never have too many pairs of no-show socks. And that's it, that's all I got from there. But I'm excited. 
I think I figured it out with this camera. I had it on the wrong setting. So it was doing, I think like 23 frames per second and I wanted it to be on 27, which explains why it was lagging. At least I figured it out. Hey, that's good. This is gonna be what I'm wearing. So you can see it all together. This little white t-shirt I just got from ThreadUp. This sweater is from Urban. My pants are from Cotton On. My shoes are just my Nike. Air Max has actually got these in the little boy section. This necklace I think is from Brandy Melville. This one is from my grandma. A bunch of gold rings. Oh, and then this little bag is from ThreadUp as well. And yes, I also found a honey coupon that saved me $250 on top of it already being discounted on ThreadUp. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go try and get on the subway now. I'm gonna head downtown to probably like Soho. I want to get some lunch for sure. Probably just gonna shop around until I have to meet Alexis, which is at 5.30. Let's go try to navigate the subway. I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working in the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robert? I found this cute little lunch spot, so I'm currently sitting at this four-person table by myself, which is kind of empowering, and I kind of love that for me. It's so cute. I love Soho. I just got done eating. That burger literally hit the spot so great. Now I'm going to go on my f***ing shopping spree. So after I ate lunch, I was in the mood to do a little bit of shopping. I was planning on just shopping around down here in Soho until it was time for me to meet Alexis for dinner. And I did go to a couple of stores, picked up a few things. Again, something I did not take into account was the humidity. I underestimated greatly how much I was going to be sweating today, which is interesting because typically I always know that I'm going to be sweating. Long story short, I felt like the pants that I am wearing turned into a sauna. Like they were just trapping all of the heat that was coming off of my body. I'm not seeing anyone around me sweating the way that I'm sweating. I'm like, is there something wrong with me? I couldn't stop sweating. Like I could not cool down. But one thing led to another and I decided to go back uptown. I have to go back to my hotel room and cool down, drop my stuff off and then come back down when it's time to go to dinner. So that is what I ended up doing. Thankfully yesterday I read that article about how to maneuver the New York subway system because I did it. While it was kind of annoying that I had to go all the way back up and then all the way back down just to drop stuff off and because I was sweating profusely, I was able to do it effectively, which I think is really what is most important here. So I end up leaving my hotel room a little bit before I'm supposed to be at the office, take the subway down and I meet up with Alexis. She took me on an office tour, which I did not film at because I didn't want to make it awkward. There were other people, other employees working and I was socializing and trying to network and things like that, which is very important as we know. And I just had a really great time meeting all of them. They were all so nice and welcoming. The office was beautiful and it was a really great experience. <laughs>
it is friday it's currently 10 45 a.m and i just got ready as you guys saw did my makeup i threw on a really casual outfit because yesterday proved to me that trying to look cute with like pants and shit and this humidity is a big no humidity right now is 76 percent which is insane i'm probably going to be sweating so today i just am going to be better prepared than i was yesterday I'm gonna leave in probably like 10 minutes. I just wanted to sit down and say hello. I am actually going to meet up with Elena, who is another YouTuber, which I'm really excited about. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop in Soho. I'm gonna take the subway down. I'm just really proud of myself for how I navigated the subway yesterday. Being able to get from point A to point B successfully and walk into the station and like know where I needed to go literally made me feel so good. I learned how to read the map. First of all, that is like deciphering code. It is like I'm Nicolas Cage in national treasure. I just need to brush my teeth and we will get going. Oh, also I have all of these sample size perfumes that I got because I re-bought my favorite perfume ever, my Chanel Mademoiselle, because I'm, I'm literally out. They gave me like three different sample sizes of these Valentino, I think it's Valentino, perfumes. My travel hack is, obviously I wasn't gonna bring a whole ass bottle of perfume. So there are just these little bottles. <laughs> I used this yesterday. I sprayed two spritzes of it. I still have like at least two left. So that's a travel hack. Just get these little samples and bring those. Brilliant. Look at all this that I love. Are you kidding me? A little bit goes a long way. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. It's like really not groundbreaking. Okay, really quickly, this is my outfit today. I'm wearing this top from, this is literally from the Target men's section. Extra large and I just cropped it. These like tan sweatshorts are from Lululemon. And then I'm just wearing my Nike Air Maxes. I'm really enjoying this like tan and white look that I've been doing, especially with gold jewelry. That's the outfit. And now I am going to head to the subway. It is uh, 12.58, it's starting to rain, and it said it wasn't gonna rain until five, so I feel like I've been bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray, yeah. <laughs> run amok, and flat out deceived, and I have a bone to pick with the Weather Channel. Yeah, I so. that. I definitely do wish that I got more footage when I was with Elena, but we were just having really nice conversations and it was really nice, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, that's all that I actually have in terms of footage. Not my best, but what matters is that I had fun. So after Elena and I parted ways, I decided to walk to Washington Square Park because I love Washington Square Park. On the way though, I took a detour and I went to Reformation because I was on the hunt for some good jeans. And I figured the dressing rooms are open. I'm here now. Why not just go in and try some stuff on? Being a young adult, newly graduated from college, entering this new phase of life, it's very important to keep track of your money. It's important to be smart with it. Yes, I am trading myself right now, but overall keeping a budget and just knowing how to manage your money well is very important. And that actually leads us into the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you are longtime viewers of this channel, you already know how I feel about Skillshare. I love them. But if you are a new viewer and you haven't heard of Skillshare or if you just would like a quick reminder, Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people. Skillshare has thousands of classes and through these classes, you can learn new things, find new passions, deepen existing passions, and overall just get lost in creativity, which I just think is so much fun. Skillshare has classes in such a wide variety of topics. They have everything from marketing, which which 
marketing majors stand up to film and video, graphic design, entrepreneurship, web development, music, anything that you can think of, Skillshare has a class to help you learn something new or find a new hobby or explore passion that you didn't even know you had. While Skillshare does have a lot of classes for creative things, they also have classes about general life topics, like how to be more productive, how to manage your money, budgeting, things like that. The class I'm actually taking right now is called Modern Money Habits, Five Steps to Build the Life You Want. And it's taught by Justin Bridges. He also includes a personal snapshot template, which I think is really cool. It's in the projects and resources section of the class. You can download it, copy it, and fill it in with your own numbers, kind of just to help you budget your own finances and plan and stuff like that. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there are never any ads on any of the classes, thank God. And they're always launching new premium classes, so there's always new content. There's always something new to learn. So if you're interested in trying out Skillshare and maybe you've been sitting and watching me talk about Skillshare for months and you've been thinking, eh, maybe I'll sign up, but maybe not this time. This is a sign. This is the time for you to do it. The first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in my description will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership so that you can explore all of their classes. It's free to go on there and look at any of their classes and take some free link in the description. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I love you so much. And now let's get back into the vlog. I think about New York. I think about both your crazy blue eyes. I think about Manhattan. I don't know what happened, but I miss those times. Holding my hands on the subway so I wouldn't fall still down. I'd go You'd pick me up Whether on those trains Or when I felt low Running through streets like taxi cabs I don't know how good we What's up everyone? Long time no talk It is now 7.42pm Today was a really good day I had a lot of fun today I spent a lot of the day down in Soho Met up with Elena She's the coolest, so sweet I had such a good time We got coffee and Then we went to Sweet Green And I'd never been there before But I got food there And then I decided I wanted to walk to Washington Square Park I absolutely love Washington Square Park I think it might be the fact that it's NYU campus area And the college bitch in me Just really resonates with that energy on the way, I took pictures of so many like buildings and fire escapes that I thought were pretty. And then it like kind of rained on and off, but it would rain for like a minute, genuinely 60 seconds, and then it would stop on and off. And then it got really sunny and really hot at one point, but it was just beautiful. The vibes down there were so good today. I just like sat there for a while. I listened to a couple podcasts. It was really nice. It was very relaxing. Then I just took the subway back uptown, ended up ordering dinner from this place, but actually wasn't good. So I'm not gonna discuss it further because I'm still a bit heartbroken about it. So my plan really for the rest of the night is to unwind, have a relaxing evening, watch my favorite show right now, which is Manifest. Oh, I need to shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight because I did sweat today, but I don't think I sweat, sweated enough to warrant me washing my hair again. Anyway, this hotel room is the coziest thing ever. I think that's all I have to say right now. That's gonna be it for tonight. Good night, everyone. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's finally sunny. I'm feeling good. For the past hour, I have been looking at apartments because I don't wanna leave. I mean, I'm not gonna like fuck around and sign a lease today, okay? Unless? No, I won't. When I posted that I was in New York on my Instagram story, people thought that that meant that I was moving to New York and I'm like, no, no. I am simply visiting. When I decide where I'm moving, I will let you know. Okay, I just got ready for my last full day here. I'm sad. I threw on some light makeup because it is literally supposed to be 93 degrees today. Bruh. I just put on my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream because it has SPF 50 and I needed to cover my acne and whatnot. But let me show you the fit for today. It's very, very simple and casual because like I said, it's going to be 93 degrees and I would rather not 
be caught in some like extravagant outfit or pants for that matter it, it couldn't be me today this is what we're rocking with today put my hair in a low bun i just have these sunglasses from key australia i get a lot of questions about where these are from from key australia q u a y this shirt i actually thrifted ages ago i don't remember where but i thrifted it these are the lululemon align biker shorts they're my absolute favorite biker shorts i usually don't like biker shorts and i feel like i don't look good in them but these were a game changer for me wearing my same white nike air maxes this bag just this like canvas tote bag and i got it from urban outfitters the other day i have a bunch of stuff that i'm bringing with me today i have a book in here so i feel like i needed something a little bit bigger that's the fit I'm ready to have a fun day i'm gonna be in the park area today i booked an appointment actually at 11 30 to go to color me mine which if you don't know what that is it's this place where you can paint pottery i thought that that would be a lot of fun and that is on the upper west side i need to start making my way out i'm gonna stop at this place called juice generation that i found last night on the internet for an acai bowl for breakfast it's 10 13 a.m i spent a lot of time looking at apartments <laughs> i need to freaking get moving we're gonna have a fun last day and we're going to sweat a lot I ended up doing a spoon holder for the stove and it, I did Moira Rose where she was saying fold in the cheese from Schitt's Creek. Next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? You fold it in. That's what you do. Uh -huh. You just fold it in. Okay. I didn't know that it was going to take one to two weeks to be finished. So I had to pay $15 for them to ship it to me. Now I'm walking back to the park. I'm going to get a Nathan's hot dog. And then I'll probably find a coffee shop somewhere. Because I haven't had coffee today, which is a tragedy. But I really want a Nathan's hot dog. So I'm going to go get a Nathan's hot dog. After a very long and active day of walking around the park, walking around Upper West Side, I had such an amazing time, but I was ready to chill out for a little bit. So I got back to my hotel room and I decided that I was going to go on a complete Cody Co binge. And I have absolutely no regrets about it. Eventually I got hungry as one would and I decided to order some dinner. I was in the mood for sushi tonight so I placed an order for pickup from this place that's literally a block from my hotel and then while I waited for the notification that my order was ready, you guys guessed it didn't you? Yeah, I, I watched more Cody Co. 
glad I look like this. Why did no one tell me? I'm showering after this, don't worry. Hi. I'm gonna do a little dinner in bed moment. I got sushi for dinner. I ordered from this place called Maki Maki, literally down the street from my hotel, thank God. And I'm gonna do a little dinner haul. First, we have some edamame. We have some miso soup. A lot of soy sauce packets. And then I got two rolls of sushi. There's a California roll and a spicy crab roll. This is probably not something that's super good to eat on the bed actually considering the soy sauce situation so i'm gonna move this to the desk dinner on the bed is canceled yeah the lighting's just gonna suck sorry about it I woke up this morning and I was so sad. I'm like looking at my hotel room. It's so cozy and homey. I'm sad to be leaving it, but I have to. I just finished packing up all of my stuff. I'm pretty much ready to go, except I do want to stop at Starbucks before I leave to get a coffee or something and probably like a breakfast sandwich so I can eat it on the way home. There's literally a Starbucks right across the street. Like I'm literally looking at it right now. Before I leave, I wanted to do a little haul of everything that I bought while I was here. I didn't show you anything. Well, I showed you the Lululemon stuff, but that's all I showed you for the whole time I was here. So I wanted to do a little haul right now before I try and condense some of this stuff and put it in my suitcase and stuff to leave. Let's begin. First place that I went was Lululemon, as you guys did see. We already went over this, but I'll just refresh your memory really quick. I got this sports bra, which I actually ended up wearing. I'll put a picture of when I was wearing it. It's so comfy and soft. I'm so happy that I got this. And then I also just picked up no-show socks. I haven't worn these yet, but I'm excited too. The next place that I went was Urban Outfitters. I actually only got, oh no, I got two things there technically. I'm actually pretty sure that these are the exact same ones that I already own. I have them in a lighter wash, but I'm so in love with them and they fit me so nice, which is honestly so difficult to find jeans that fit me in both like the thighs and the waist and these jeans do. So I ended up getting them in a medium wash. They're the BDG high rise baggy jeans. While I was there, I also got this little bag because I was actually carrying another bag while I went to Urban Outfitters and it was like the most uncomfortable bag ever. Oh, I went there before Urban Outfitters. Oh, okay, I'll just show you guys that stuff in a second. I got this canvas tote bag. I actually carried this around with me yesterday when I went to the park, insert photo here. Okay, so before I went to Urban, this was all on the same day, but before I went to Urban, I actually went to Brandy Melville because I have a zip up hoodie from there that I actually got from Paxson, but it's J. Galt, which is like a Brandy Melville brand. And I was looking for another one of those as well, which I actually ended up finding. I'm pretty sure this is the same one. So I have this in like the light purple color, purpley bluish, whatever. So I just got one in this tan color. Got this little blue sweater shirt. I just thought this was adorable and really cute for summer. Then I got this gray New York t-shirt, which is actually really interesting because I'm pretty, it's literally two t-shirts in one. Thought it was cute, nice little crop top. Very warm though, considering there are two shirts. So I'll probably wear this in like the fall time. This is the last thing I got. And this is another sweatshirt. Oh my God, shocker. It's just this navy blue New York crew neck. Really cute, love it, touristy shit. Two more stores. The next place that I went is Reformation. The first pair of jeans that I got are these. They are the Cynthia High Relaxed Jean. Pretty much just the high-waisted straight leg jean. Really nice snacks. I actually got a pair of jean shorts, which is groundbreaking for me because I don't own any of these because I don't like the way the jean shorts look on me. I actually really liked these ones. And they are the Dixie High Rise Jean Shorts. Very excited to have a pair of those for the summertime. Last pair of jeans that I got are these black ones. And I think these might be my favorite. I'm actually obsessed with these. Semi flared leg situation. I feel like this distressed detail at the bottom love these. These are the Emma High Rise Wide Leg Jeans. They fit amazing. They're really stretchy, which is nice. And then the last thing I got from Reformation is a shirt. It's this button-up cropped 
short sleeve sweater material, kind of ribbed collared shirt situation. This is called the Brandy Top in the color Bone. So she's very cute. The last store that I went to was actually the NYU bookstore because I'm a for apparel from colleges that I did not and do not attend. Maybe this is me manifesting that if I decide to go to grad school that I'll get accepted there. Let's start with the elephant in the room. <clears throat> so I know what you may be thinking. Another sweatshirt. No, not just another sweatshirt, you guys. You know the Princeton sweatshirt that I, that I have and I wear all the time and also the Penn State sweatshirt and the Clemson sweatshirt that I have. All crewnecks, all champion. They're all the same exact sweatshirt. They are all the champion reverse weave style. Another one. So this one is the same thing. It's just an NYU one, which I think is kind of dope because the rest of mine are gray and this one's purple. Next, I got just this gray t-shirt. It says New York University. You need to have it, it's a staple. Next, I actually got this one and it's a white t-shirt. New York University. I'm planning on cropping this actually. I thought this would be really cute as a crop top. And then the last two things I got are actually for my dad because I texted him while I was there. And I asked him if he would want anything from the bookstore. He just said a t-shirt. And I was like, okay. This is literally one of the only ones that they had in an extra large. It's just this gray t-shirt. It says New York University. I got that for him. I also just got this postcard. He really likes to go to the 9-11 Memorial. And I thought this postcard was really pretty. So that's it. That's everything I bought while I was here. Really excited to go home today and show my mom what I got. And I'm also excited to see my cats. But I'm very sad to leave this hotel room. It has been, okay, my stomach is growling. We're gonna wrap this up. In terms of traveling alone for the first time, I think that this trip went really, really well. I think that it was super eye-opening for me in so many different ways. I felt empowered. I felt more confident. I was very nervous going into this trip because I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it. Honestly, the night before the trip, I was freaking out. I was like, should I come home a day earlier? I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I think that this experience was really important for me to have. It put a lot of things into perspective for me. It gave me a little bit more confidence in myself as an independent human being. I had a lot of fun. I definitely want to do more solo trips in the future. And yeah, that would be that would be my takeaway from this trip. Uh -huh.